FreedomMunitions.com. Your online ammunition destination presents The High Road with Keith Warren. We hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has country like this. Wide open, wild stuff, and I love it. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. For me, hunting is the ultimate pursuit. We need to get out of here. This danger zone. Who was the big bear? A connection with nature that only a hunter can experience. I've spent my entire life perfecting my skills, braving the elements in pursuit of my prey. The wild is where I belong. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. Join me and take the high road. Today on the high road, we're located in central Missouri. We're going to be whitetail hunting at Oak Creek Whitetail Ranch. And if you were to take your finger and literally put it right smack dab in the center of the show me stake, that's where you'll find us. This is my first time here to hunt in uh, central Missouri. But the reason why I'm really looking forward to this place is that uh, my friend Larry Wysoon and my other friend Blake Barnett are going to be here too. Let me tell you something, they're two of the best guys in the industry. I'm Blake Barnett and I'm the co-host of DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon, which the executive producer behind that series is my good friend Larry Wysu. And we're excited to be here in Missouri. This is not our first time to hunt Oak Creek Whitetail Ranch with Donald Hill. I'm Larry Wysu and I am the host and also the owner of DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon that appears on the Sportsman Channel at the time being. Very fortunate to be on the Oak Creek Whitetail Ranch, kind of the central part of Missouri here in late October, just a couple of days before Halloween, at a time when these bucks are just really getting ready to, to start rutting. I'm here with Blake Barnett, who is also my co-host and producer of my TV show, and also fortunate to be here with Keith Warren, a very dear old friend. And he's been in the outdoor business a long, long time, kind of like I have, but I think he may have beat me just a little bit in terms of total years. I'm Donald Hill with Oak Creek Whitetail Ranch. We're a fair chase hunting preserve with some of the best whitetail habitat in the Midwest. Why well, I say fair chase, because it's an extremely large piece of property. The habitat is extremely thick. The deer are very smart, and it's a very challenging hunt. This week's very special to me. I've got some great friends here from way back in the past. Uh, you know, Keith Warren with um, High Road. I've got Larry Wysoon and Blake Barnett with Trailing the Hunter's Moon. And um, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, we're just having a good time being friends and no pressure. Uh, it's just a blast to be here all week. We're done. Happy time. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconyx, 10X high performance hunting gear, record rack deer and elk feed, Burt Coyote's Luminoc, supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, Tannerite, and 
Blood Sport. The High Road will be right back. I'm out here building a ground blind for me and Keith to hunt in this evening. Uh, we're over, we're up on top of this ridge overlooking a food plot that I'm pretty, pretty positive that we're gonna have a lot of deer activity in. whitetail hunters dream about as far as the rut goes because if you get lucky enough to have a fight in front of you, you hope it turns out like this. I'm sitting there watching these deer fight and I think it looked like Brock Lesnar body slammed one of them. With the rut on, uh, I got to take the rattling antlers. I got to uh, do some spotting and stalking. I mean, Larry's out there covering a lot of country. Blake's out there covering a lot of country. And so I'm going to grab the horn and see what I can do. This is the time of year that uh, whitetail deer hunters dream about. I mean, it's uh, late October, early November. The rut really starts. And the, this is the pre-rut right now. I mean, there's a lot of chasing going on. And you'll see this in the woods, especially up here in Missouri. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of rubbing activity. The one thing I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing uh, a lot of scrape for whatever reason. Maybe I haven't gotten in the area, but the weather, when well, the weather is not real good, it's been raining off and on. The good news is they've got some tower stands that we can get in overlooking food plots. And if we need to do that, we will. But for right now, we're gonna ease ourselves through the woods and take our horns and see if we can rattle somebody in.
Our typical customer, let me tell you about our typical customer. We don't have a typical customer. We, we, we get anywhere from the average working guy all the way up to the big guy and, um, and we take them all. And we have a hunt specially made for just about anybody out there. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Armasite. Nemo Arms, the entire line of Food Saver Game Saver vacuum sealing systems, BSA Optics, Camo Adult Precision Air Rifles, and FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination. The High Road will be right back. Tannerite brand binary exploding rifle targets presents viewer feedback. All right, Jenny is from New Jersey. She says, I'm so scared for our country because there's talk about taking up our guns. Please share with me your thoughts on this. Jenny, that's a great question. I think that any freedom loving person in our country should be absolutely petrified with the talk that's going on right now about taking up guns and destroying our Second Amendment rights. You know, I believe that every human being has the right to defend themselves, period. I believe that good people should have guns. Bad people already have guns. And if they restrict good people from having guns, we're gonna have more violence than we've ever had before. In my opinion, what we need to do, we need to band together. We need to support the National Rifle Association. We need to do things that are proactive to let the people in America know, because most people don't own guns. We need to let the people in America know that the gun owners, we're the good guys. We're the guys that when the proverbial you know what hits the fan, those guys without guns are gonna be coming to us to take care of them. So Jenny, that's a great question. And I think that anybody out there should be concerned with what's going on in our country. Please become proactive, join the National Rifle Association and introduce somebody that maybe doesn't know anything about guns, introduce them to guns. I think that uh, you'll be doing your part as a patriot Jenny, that is a great question. Thank you. Now this is not my first time, nor is it Larry Wasoon's first time to hunt Oak Creek Whitetail Ranch. And each time that we come back, we try to come about the last week of October because we know that's the magic moment, that's the magic week that these white-tailed deer really start to kick off and do their things in terms of the rut. So this week as we hunt with Keith and camp, we're gonna actually get out, beat some horns together as hard as we can, move around and hunt this hilly, rolly country that Oak Creek is, is made of and hopefully call some of these big deer up. Oak Creek Ranch, it, it is a high fenced property. This is a game preserve that we are hunting with and I absolutely have no problem with that. And I think if you're a hunter, a real hunter and an advocate for being a hunter or an ambassador towards the sport of hunting, any legal hunting, you know, should not be ridiculed or be picked upon. And so I'm not afraid to say that I'm here hunting a high fence property. And I think when someone comes here, what they should expect in terms of what, what they're gonna see when they're out there is that it's not as easy as it, as it, as it sounds. This property has got different types of terrain. The bottoms are thick, there's lots of timber. I hunted personally on the first morning and only saw three deer. We are fair chase. Um, don't come expecting a canned hunt here. Um, it is a very difficult hunt, and um, we thrive on uh, giving, making it the best hunt there is possible. So my primary goal here was to try to rattle up some whitetail bucks. I've been fortunate to hunt Oak Creek in the past with Donald and his guys, and so I've been here a time or two in the past. And, and Donald kind of turned us loose a little bit with with my guide Shane and. We knew that if the weather turned bad, we were gonna to try to do some spot and stalk and a little bit more rattling, but uh, the first day or so, we were pretty much confined, just kind of doing, sitting on ridges and looking and glassing because these leaves were falling and the leaves were like walking on potato chips. And even though I didn't really want to hunt in the rain, I kind of secretly hoped that it might rain to kind of soften the leaves a little bit.
hunting a property that is managed well, the property is managed well, the owner is a good steward of the land, the white-tailed deer, whatever's running on their property here is taken care of in terms of they're always going to have something to eat, they're always going to have something to drink. It's never going to be overpopulated and disease and infection is never going to take over. And so from those who have never hunted high fence before, shouldn't be afraid to go try hunting high fence. You might just like it. These guys couldn't have timed it any more perfect. The deer are starting to rut. We've got a little bit of rain. The cold weather's coming in and they're, they're just making laps are out there after I chase and doe. If you'd like more information on Oak Creek Whitetail Ranch, just go to our website or give us a call. I love talking to people on the phone. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Liberty Safe, OpticsPlanet.com, Darton Archery, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. Blue Rock Outfitters, and Shadow Hunter Blinds, Elevators. The High Road will be right back. the best part of a hunt you know a lot of people think the best part of the hunt is when you wind up when you pull the trigger and I, I don't think that at all I think the best part of the hunt is the whole hunt I think there's good times and bad times it's like everything blends together to make the perfect outcome Look at this buck right here. It is a muddy mess out here in this field, but he is a Missouri monster. And you know, when it comes to whitetail hunting in the Midwest, Missouri is one of those sleeper states that most people just don't think about. But Missouri, in some parts of Missouri anyway, there are some absolute giants. Now this is Oak Creek Whitetail Ranch, and we're located right now in central Missouri. And the deer, the rut is just starting, and I mean, this place right here is a phenomenal piece of property. It's private property. It's got uh, all the perfect habitat in the Midwest that you could ever want right here in central Missouri. And the genetics here are over the top. I mean, the weather right now, I mean, it's still raining. I mean, we have had bad weather all day, but we've seen deer, a lot of deer, and some exceptionally nice deer. And if y'all want more information about hunting opportunities right here in central Missouri at Oak Creek Whitetail Ranch, you can get online and give Donald Hill a call, and Donald will be happy to hear from you. If you uh, want to talk to me about this place, uh, shoot me an email, and I promise you we'll talk on the phone because I want you to know how good this place really is. And now after coming here, now I understand how come why soon has been coming back for so many years. I want to tell you about this particular place and what I really like about this place. I, certainly they've got beautiful deer, uh, and the habitat is wonderful, the property is giant, and it is a super challenge to hunt here. I love all that. But what I want to come back to is I want to come back to, to the fact that this place feels like home. 
you know, there's some of the places that, that I've gone to and that maybe you've gone to that really just don't feel nice and warm and fuzzy to where you want to go back, even though maybe you got a big deer. But it's all about, to me, it's about the joy of the hunt. So yeah, you gotta go to a place that, that's got the deer, and you gotta go to a place that, that, that you feel good about. But it, it's a place that this place, Oak Creek Whitetail Ranch, right here in central Missouri, just feels like home. And that's the reason why I'm coming back.